I'm uh, Philip van Overschelde, orthopedic surgeon uh, working in Ghent uh, since 2005. I'm a specialist in hip and knee replacement surgery. I do over 400 uh, implants a year, of which 250 hips, and there I do uh, around 30, 40 revision cases a year. The history with Materialize starts, if I'm correct, in 2013. Uh, it started with a very special case. I did a case with my brother in Aalst. He, he wanted me to assist him for his first case. And I had a similar case uh, that was waiting for revision in, the, in my clinic. So I was convinced. Uh, we did the surgery together, went very well. And we did the surgery in the summer of 2013. 13, so with now five years uh, follow-up. And since then, I've been using uh, these guys as um, my primary implant for complex revision cases. In 2013, when I did my first case, the guides, uh, the guides were sometimes uh, a problem. The way we had some issues with, with the guides. Uh, wh what were the issues? That the guides to make your screw holes, eh, to guide your drill into the holes, is that the, the guide was, um, you need to have your guide over the implant. And sometimes you had a conflict with some bony structure, with soft tissue structures, and there was some struggle uh, to drill your holes. Moreover, the guides were intent, you had one guide, and were intended to drill all the holes through that one guide, which is, in practice, this is not possible. Eh? You need different guides for the different parts that you need to, to fix to the bow. New drill guides were developed, and I must say, I tried these uh, a couple of time, uh, uh, at a time ago, and I was seduced immediately by the new guides. It has been some work to develop them, but they have an immediate fit, they're very stable, and you don't have an interference with surrounding structures because the guides fit into your implant. I will show you one of them. Um, this is guide number three. This is guide number two. For that particular case, we have three guides. I take guide number two. You see here the implant. Uh, it's in the bone. This is the drill guide. You just put it in and you see it's stable. You don't need any manipulation. It's very stable and it allows you to drill straight away the um, the holes where you will imp uh, implant the screws. And why is it very important? It takes a lot of effort and a lot of stress in the beginning of the surgery. The approach in my hands takes approximately one hour, maybe one hour and a half in different, diff uh, very difficult cases. Uh, if you have another one hour and a half where you need to struggle with drill guides and, and the way you have to position, then you get frustrated and then surgery, uh, you, you want to end it as soon as possible. With this, you're at ease. You know if the bone has been prepared very well, the rest of the surgery is very straightforward. So once you've positioned the uh, drill guide into your implant, um, the rest is just a, a, a very easy procedure because you know the length of the screws in advance. And I have here the, a planning of a, a particular case where uh, 14 screws were planned. And a, a little thing for the users that are for the uh, surgeons who didn't use it before, we developed like that, that you have it in a clockwise direction. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You start with the, I start with the screws in my ilium first because they have a very good fit and there it stabilizes very well your implant. Then I move to the ischium and pubis screws. And then all the screws, so one to seven, they are done. The next step is to uh, drill the screws that are outside the cup, so not in the cup, but outside the cup. And there also it's clockwise numbering, eight till 14. Well, the length of the screws, we know it in advance. It's written here. You see all the length of the screws. I do use uh, spongial screws for all my uh, holes. And I order even my screws sterile before the surgery. So in my OR, I only have these 14 screws. There is no risk. You don't have to measure a screw. There is no risk of taking the wrong screw. 
you know in advance that you will only need these screws. It also reduces time and it makes your uh, procedure more easy than it has ever been. What's the difference with, between the custom implant I'm using now and before five years? Uh, so I started in 2013 using these implants. Before, I, I, it, I, the patient knew it was a complex surgery and the outcome was a slight kind of, of lottery. Not I, I, I didn't know what to do, but you couldn't uh, guarantee your patient that he could weight bear immediately, that he could mobilize like he, like he, want, like he, he should do. Uh, you could not guarantee the leg length. Uh, limping was still an issue because if you reduce the offset, the patient could limp afterwards. With the AMAs, you're able to reconstruct leg length and offsets at the same time without compromise with a construct that's fully stable. So I can guarantee my patients before surgery that I, what I planned, I will be able to realize during surgery. And that reassures the patient. And so far, we, we didn't uh, have to break our word uh, that we made before surgery. Mm -hmm.